Hi friends, Happy New Year, and thanks for joining me on Smile by Holly. And I'm Holly. It's great to have you here, and I thought with the new year just a few days away, it would be fun to make calendars today. You know, how fun to have your calendar all ready so when 2022 hits, Ba-boom, you've got a fun, fresh, new calendar. So let's just jump right in and get started. An easy way to get calendars is A, you could just go to the dollar store and cut up a calendar to kind of, you know, make it your own. I have just jumped on to Google. If you go to Google and type in calendars and then go up to images, there are just a ton of free calendars that you can print out. I have cut my calendars down to seven and a fourth by five. This is going to make just a nice sized calendar for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by making the base. Now for my base, you know, because this calendar is, you know, a little bit larger, I wanted my base to be strong. And so I have gotten some poster board from the Dollar Tree. I think maybe if you had one 10 pound cardstock, that would work. But uh, I just wanted to make sure. So I'm gonna be using even a little bit thicker and going with the poster board today. So that's definitely an option. And you can get four pieces of poster board from the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. So good deal there. So I have already gone ahead and cut down my base pieces for the calendar. The first piece you're going to need is 11 and 3 fourths by eight. And then the second piece you're going to need is eight by eight and a half. So go ahead and get those cut and then let's bring in our scoreboard. Now, on the 11 and 3 fourths inch side, you will want to score it at 8 and push a little bit harder if you're using the, the poster board just to make sure you get a good uh, score in there. So 8, 9 and a half, and 11. And I'm just going over it a couple times just because this is thicker. Then go ahead and bring in your eight by eight and a half inch piece of poster board. And on the eight and a half inch side, you will want to score it at eight. Okay, we are done with the scoreboard. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fold and burnish that. I'm gonna use my bone folder to make sure it gets nice and crisp. Like I said, this is a little bit thicker. And then bring in my other one. So what you'll want to do on that first score line right here, can you see those? We're just going to fold over. We're gonna do a mountain fold and then fold back, which is called a valley fold, and then another mountain fold with that little half inch score line. Okay, so that is what it's going to look like. Okay, now we're going to bring in our second paper and just on this half inch score line right here, we'll want to add our adhesive and on the side without the score, we are just going to lay that down. And I'm going to bring in my glue. I'm using uh, glitter art glue. I want this to have a nice, good, strong hold. You know, just so my base stays together. So how are you guys? Did you have a nice holiday? Oh my goodness, the holidays for me were just wonderful. I think any time you have extra time to spend with family and friends is just a bonus. But I do have to say, bring on 2022. <laughs> bring it on. Okay, I'm gonna just push that down nice and good. 
So let me just kind of show you from the top. That's what we're looking like, okay? And then this little piece right here, this little uh, score line, we're going to add adhesive and then just hook those together. That's going to just go right down underneath and that will make our base. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get some glue on this. So are you guys doing anything fun for New Year's? You know, I am not much of a fan of doing a lot for New Year's and I don't know why, probably because I have a hard time staying up past 10. <laughs> In fact, I remember the whole time my kids were growing up, we would actually set the clock uh, a couple hours ahead. So when it actually was 10 o'clock, we would say that it was 12. <laughs> We would always celebrate early. Well, you know, when kids are little, 12 is kind of late. So we just kind of got in the habit of doing that. So maybe that's what we'll do this year is at 10 o'clock we'll celebrate and then I'll go to bed. <laughs> okay, just get that on there really good. Now let me show you. So that's what the base of our calendar is. And this is nice and sturdy. Like I say, we're going to be adding 12 papers onto this, and that's why I chose to do the poster board. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, what I've done is, like I said, I went ahead and I cut my calendars up, and I'm just going to mount all of them on some cardstock. So, get that all done. Um, this is a perfect calendar. If you have a lot of 8 by 8 cardstock, because this calendar is 8 by 8 I mean, this will fit perfectly. So if you have a lot, this is just going to be an easy to put together calendar. Now, what I have done is I actually, even though I have a ton of 8 by 8 cardstock, I'll use it, but I cut down a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because I am going to be making a calendar in my next video and a, I was able to use the piece that I cut off from using what we're going to be using today for that calendar. So I kind of got like a two for one. <laughs> Does that make sense? So anyway, go ahead, get your calendars cut down. The I mounted mine on some colored cardstock because I wanted to, it to kind of pop and my colored cardstock ended up being seven and a half by five and a half. Okay, and that made just a nice cute border around all of mine. Now I do need to go ahead and mount all of my calendars, but I went ahead and I cut all my cardstock down and isn't that cute? I thought just a cute pattern paper would be fun to kind of represent each month. And, um, but you know, you could just use a plain colored cardstock and then embellish that, whatever you want to do. So I am going to go ahead and mount all of my calendars on the cardstock that I have chosen. Um, you want to kind of not necessarily center it, you want to put it more down towards the bottom because we want to make sure we have enough room for our holes and for the calendar to be able to flip. So I'm just going to put it probably about a half an inch from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put this on fast forward, get my adhesive on all of my months and then I'll be back. So I have all of my calendars mounted on the different pattern papers. And can I just tell you, I thought this was really fun because I was able to go through my paper stash and just kind of pick out different things that would represent the month. You know, January, the cute snowman, June, I've got some bugs, uh, July, some stars. Anyway, it was just, it was super fun to go ahead and pick out different papers that would match. So anyway, let's go ahead and make our holes now for our calendar. Um, now what I have figured is I went down about, I'm thinking it was about three-fourths of an inch from the top. So I'm just going to make 
just some little lines here so that I can get this on straight. So about three fourths of an inch from the top and I'm just doing this on the back. Um, draw a little line. Once we have one of them done, we'll use this one as our guide for the rest of them. And then what I did is I went in two and a fourth inches, uh, two and a fourth, and that's where we are going to put our holes for the rings. So two and a fourth inches from each side. And ba-boom, we're done. So let's go ahead and make our holes and then we'll use this one as our guide for the other ones. Now I don't have a long reach uh, paper punch and that worked out just perfect. I don't think I could have gone much deeper because I just have like a dinky paper punch, but that worked out just fine with a regular paper punch. But now I'm going to take this one and I will line it up and use this as a guide for all of the other ones. So I'm just gonna put this on fast forward and then I will be back um, once I'm done. I got all my holes punched and it looks like they're lining up nicely. Now take your base and on your base you are going to want to do that same exact thing. Okay, so I'm going to put that over. Now you'll be going through, you know, a little bit thicker, especially if you use poster board, but like I said, my hole punch is just kind of a dinky hole punch and it's going to work out just fine. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to show you how fun this turns out. Now, for my rings, I just got these rings also at the Dollar Tree. You know, if <laughs> there are so many amazing things that you can find at the Dollar Tree to help make your crafts just not only easy, but much less expensive. So, you know, if you're doing some of these things, check them out first before you go to like an, an Office Depot store because this would cost you just that much more. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we'll thread our rings on. And I'm trying to see the size of these rings. These rings are, oh, they're an inch. So these are an inch rings and they are going to be just perfect for this little calendar. So, just going to thread these on. So there is our cute little calendar and as you can see this stands up just perfectly. What I will probably do, I'm thinking because this turned out to be a little bit heavier than I thought, I am going to reinforce my back. Uh, just because I want it nice and sturdy, you know, to last the whole year. And so that's what I'm going to do. Feel free to evaluate when you get done. What I wanted to do is just add a few fun embellishments. It doesn't necessarily need it, but just a little something extra to my calendar. And these can be as simple as stickers. I'm going to use, there's just a cute little snowflake, just a little something. So there is our cute desk calendar. We've got January, we've got February, we've got March, April, May, 
June with those cute bugs. <laughs> July. We've got August, September, October, November, and before we know it, we'll be back to Christmas of 2022. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me today for just this quick tutorial on a fun calendar for New Year's. So I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. I'm going to be making one more calendar in my next video that's just quick and easy if you're looking for more ideas on fun new calendars to get you started for the new year. If you like the video guys, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.